Everybody is about to get here with the back of the song. So, we moved back last time we did episode 1 6. This will be the episode 2 1. Embarrassing. I can't believe I forgot it on my first day back. Oh, good morning, Marcus. Morning. What are you doing out here? Aren't you going in? I got stopped because I forgot my ID. I told him to call Billy at the reception desk, but he doesn't work here anymore. Well, it's been three years, so I can't say I'm surprised. All right, I'll go straighten things out. Thanks. Bye. You're here early, Dr. Vaughn. Hey, Dr. Russo. It's been a long time. Hello, Dr. Blaylock. How was Montgomery Memorial? Um, well, it was certainly challenging. I have to admit, I was quite envious when I heard that you were going. I mean, who wouldn't want a chance to get in touch with nature? <laughs> I heard that you became chief surgeon. Congratulations. Ah, thank you. Of course, I was six months ago. Sorry, I've been a little out of the loop. Think nothing of it. I understand completely. After all, you were quite far from civilization. Oh, by the way, Professor Wilkins is expecting you to. He's waiting in his office on the fifth floor. All right, we'll go see him. I wonder why they asked you to return, seeing as how you've made little progress on your research. This hospital must be busier than I thought. I hope you two live up to your reputations. Well then, if you'll excuse me. I see he's still as charming as ever. At least you know what to expect from him. Dr. Wilkins? Ah, welcome back. I've been waiting for you for quite some time. Yeah, it took me a while to decide. Have you been bedridden? This disease can be debilitating, but the symptoms haven't progressed that far just yet. I'm in better spirits than I look. In fact, I even make the rounds occasionally. Of course, that- What's this disease you- Arrangements, I'll explain my situation in greater detail. After all, this is a confidential matter, even within these walls. It's a secret? Yes. You could say that I am both a patient as well as a research subject. For now, I'd like you to resume your normal duties. I'm sure Rousseau will find something for you to do. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Well, we'll get to work then. Call if you need anything. Marcus, you went against my orders and ran off to Alaska. But in the end, you were forced to return here. I won't reproach you, as long as you accept your fate. Is that what you want me to do? Indeed. Hi, Dr. Blaylock. Oh, hello, Elena. Are you starting today? Yes, I am. I actually just returned from a brief vacation. I need to hurry up and get back into the swing of things here. But it's hard because there are so many new faces. Valerie, are you in? We've got an operation to perform. Are you serious? Russo took the liberty of volunteering us. Nice guy, huh? I have a feeling this is just a taste of what's to come. All right, I'll go prep. Elena, can you assist? Definitely. I'll start setting up immediately. Allow me to begin the briefing for today's operation. Well, um, oh. Am I making you nervous? Just pretend I'm not here. Please continue, Elena. The patient is suffering from a putrefactive lung abscess due to Staphylococcus aureus. Both the x-rays as well as the CAT scan support this diagnosis. You have two objectives for this operation. Look for a shadow using the ultrasound, make an incision, and drain the pus. And of course, excise the tumor that's causing the problem. Is there anything you'd like to add, Dr. Russo? Oh, no. I'll merely be observing. We'll try not to disappoint you. Well then, let's start the procedure. Let's begin the operation. We'll show Dr. Rousseau while we're here. It's 
sequestering. We need to drain the pus. Otherwise, it could lead to inflammation. It looks like there's a tumor. I recommend the cow pursue it. Maybe when to fast, we need to drain the pus. Doctor, it's becoming inflamed. I think you should inject some anti-inflammatory. So far, so good. But according to the diagnostics, the affected area may be larger than it appears. We need to use the magnet. Looks like the diagnostics were correct. We've got more work to do. Well done, Doctor. that you haven't allowed yourself to get rusty. Surprise? Well, you could have suffered from frostbite. Ah, oh, yes. I must explain under post-op procedures. Things have changed since you left. The chart needs to be submitted to the clerks on the second floor, and surgeons are required to attend a case review session every Tuesday morning. However, we won't be needing you there just yet. I'll call for you when it's deemed necessary. Well, then... Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Next time on episode, next time on time, I'll be doing episode two, two. See you guys then.